What's going on, everybody? We are back. We got another reaction for y'all. We are checking out Dave, Question Time. Now, I did um, the reaction to Black, and this one was requested a couple times after that one. Um, a lot of people were saying check. A few people said check it out. So we're going to check it out, see what he's talking about. Y'all make sure that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. Now, usually how um, this works is you react to a song and people will suggest songs very similar to that song. So I'm going to take a guess that this is going to be something close to that song. Um, but yeah, let's go. Look. Question for the new prime minister. How do you have a heart so sinister? How are we so wasteful when people are dying in Somalia, Afghanistan, Egypt, Libya? The irony is we have no business in Syria, but kids are getting killed for all the business in Syria. And then they try and tell you that it's ISIS, it's ISIS. Kids are getting killed for all the business in Syria. Look, I'm not too updated on what's going on around the world. Um, but yeah, this... How are we so wasteful when people are dying in Somalia, Afghanistan, Egypt, Libya? The irony is we have no business in Syria, but kids are getting killed for all the business in Syria. And then they try and tell you that it's ISIS, it's ISIS. In their attempts at killing it, how many civilians died? So what's the difference between us and them? When you got drones killing kids just touching 10, then when a bomb goes off, every politician's lost. You got drones killing kids that just touched 10. Like, man, a lot of innocent people get killed for others' mistakes, which is definitely unfair. Um, and it just shows bad leadership. Like, how many civilians died? So what's the difference between us and them? When you got drones killing kids just touching 10. Then when a bomb goes off, every politician's lost like that last strike. It didn't kill a hundred men. You ain't the same as them. But all that fuel for the fire is what you gave to them and what you take from them. I know my mum's been working In and out of nursing Struggling, hurting I just find it fucked that the government is struggling To care for a person that cares for a person So where's the discussion on wages and budgets? The government is struggling to care for a person That cares for a person So you could um, I don't know man It's, it's like every government is corrupt if you think that your government is not corrupt there's something wrong with you there's corruption amongst all government um yeah that's why as people you know we gotta stand together as people it's how they made them redundant when i was a young'un the letters in our car said my mum was overdraft but somehow i still had dinner money in my pocket and even the little things like ordering pizza were probably the reason for overtime in the evening five till ten six hours of sleeping for 22 years my mum was doing it cleaning dreaming that a kid five to ten six hours of sleep for 22 years Says mom had to work overtime just for him to order pizza. Eh. Kids would have a better life, going bed at night, struggling with getting by. That's the reality for millions of people in a nation where a lot of us were looking for a second try. A question for the new prime minister, and please tell me if I'm being narrow minded. But how do we spend so much money on defense and weapons to wage war when the NHS is dying, bursting at the seams? And what about the people that voted for us to leave for the money that it would see? 350 million we give to the EU every week that our health service needs. But now them politicians got what they wanted Can you see an empty promise or a post on the street? Nurses in tears cause they're working every hour of the week And they still don't have the money that they need You brought the heart of the nation Bro, listen All politicians lie um, That's how they get what they want They tell you what you, they think you want to hear 
and most of them can't follow through with anything they say uh, that's just the reality to his knees, underpaid, understaffed, overworked and overseen by people who can't ever understand how it feels to live life like you and me. Patients lying in the corridors cause doctors can't even find a bed for them to sleep. I remember A&E and &E all them sickening screams of a little girl waiting for a surgeon to be seen. Privatised healthcare, guns for police, increased uni fees. Is this what they're selling us? Well let me remind you just in case you've forgotten that we live in Great Britain, not in Donald Trump's America. Speaking of America, state and the president. It's actually, as an American man... It's tough because I know America is like the joke for every other country. Like every other country sees us as a joke, which is pathetic, um, embarrassing. We're supposed to be the greatest country in the world and every other country sees us as a joke. With all due respect, I've got something to say to them I just find it funny you can't give a hand to Palestine but you can trade whole arms with Saudi Arabia. politics man it's yeah like people will never win uh, like citizens will never win that's just the facts citizens will never win there's always politics will always um, yeah y'all get what I'm trying to say Look, look, I got a question for the new prime minister At Grenfell Tower, your response was ridiculous You hid like a coward behind your five million Dodge responsibility and acted like you're innocent And I can see you're terrified You're not good at telling lies, I'm getting why You stay away from everything that's televised You look like a robot and you don't speak with any life It feels to me like any guy in press could have said them lines Imagine going to the council for the safety of your block And you got kids but they're ignoring you at every time Everyone who knew about a challenge should really be going in prison on the rule of joint enterprise but if it ain't a little kid with a knife i bet that judge is going easy when he's giving him time they don't deserve to be free any builder mp that knew about the conditions but did it to save cheese when i listened to the things that the residents had seen i was so shocked i couldn't even speak families they know that had died in their sleep how you choke on the smoke when you're struggling to breathe the glow from the fire the panic when you hear all the sirens the crackling the popping and the muffled out screams the fear in the eyes of a man that was I seen a list um, and it was saying who's the best storytellers ever in hip hop. And they, it was an American. Um, outlet that made the list and they had Dave on the list. And at the time, I didn't know who Dave was. Um, and but now I understand why he was on that list was trapped who jumped 15 floors from the tower to the street i could only hear a fraction of the pain and the grief closing my eyes trying hard not to cry at the joy and relief in the face of a man when a woman from the flat said his neighbor was alive no help from the council when keeping any list or the people that survived his neighbors and peers and for that whole meeting i could see that he was trying so his smile was an island and a sea full of tears look i got a message for our old prime minister david cameron I mean you fucked us, resigned and sneaked out the firing line I wanna know how you managed it And are you bathing in the sun while them papers have a run At the woman that you left here to handle it You gonna teach a little lad to be the man that's got a plan And then the moment that it fails to abandon it Are there bullies in his school? And when he say you gonna teach a little man to have a plan And then as soon as it fails, abandon it Look, it, it sucks, man. You appoint these people positions of leadership and power, and then they abandon the people that they're supposed to be protecting and leading. When you pick him up off the class, can you feel his embarrassment? I mean, you never gave a fuck about the youth, and that's the truth. There's no sympathy for you or your cabinet. I really wish I could have seen how you were scrambling when you lost the referendum that you had to win. I feel like politicians are all addicts in a big fat game, but it's lives that you gamble with. I've got a question for the leader of the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn. That's what I miss him, man. 
these politicians they play this game with human lives as if you know human lives don't matter um it's like right now what's going on in america these people are playing games with our lives like you know you you trump supporter you a biden supporter it shouldn't matter man i say pick who you feel is going to do right um i think every all of them are playing games right now and american citizens are suffering because of it you get told one thing and then you get told another thing by another person and it's like you know who's telling the truth um yeah where do you want to take the country to? Honestly, I want to put my trust in you. But you can understand why if I've got trust issues. Do you really have the faith of your party? Do you really have faith in the party that will come with you? And how do you plan on keeping all the promises? Man, if I'm being honest, sir, I'm struggling to get with it. I just ain't getting it. Everybody's great until you get them into office and then guys start forgetting things. Prove to us you're different. Don't promise me anything. Go and get justice for a Sean Charles and Edison. And if you haven't had the thought to vote yet Or protest cause you don't really see the progress I hope you know that what they're saying is affecting us The small steps are way better than no steps Slow progress better than no progress Hi right, yeah, um, I'm taking that was the end of the video. That was Dave. Question time. Um, like I said, man, politicians. Uh, uh, I don't trust any of them. To be honest, I think they all lie. Um, they all lie to get what they want. Most of them don't deliver on their promises, and they play with the lives of citizens when they're supposed to be protecting us. Um, so yeah, is it, you know, it's it's one of those subjects where it's just like if we don't come together as people and as citizens, things will never change. But that was Dave, question time. Y'all make sure that like button, hit that subscribe button. Incredible song. Come back for some more and let's go.